Hey guys, uh, welcome to another session on Wireshark Lua. In this session, I'm actually continuing to build on the Lua tutorial that I did before this, but the agenda for today would be to look at a brief introduction to what we're trying to do here. We'll walk through our code, do a quick demo, and also then show you how to craft packets using a Python library called dpacket and I will show you how I have created packets here for this demo. So without further ado, let's dive into the code here. So here's, um, here's my Visual Studio um, editor and I have pulled up awesome.lua which is what I used in my previous tutorial and just as a recap in the previous tutorial I showed you how to run this awesome protocol if you haven't seen that please revisit the tutorial and that will show you how to set up the fields how to set up the protocol and so on and so forth but in this tutorial I'm actually trying to show you how to do tunneling and by tunneling I mean that if you were to create this awesome protocol but inside this awesome protocol I'm carrying let's say Ethernet and how do I cascade from this um, dissector into Ethernet? So everything else is set up exactly as before and the only thing that I need this time extra is this length and I'll show you in a second why I need this length but I have this length and then I set up everything the same I add the type, I based on the type I dissect whether I am a B4 type of awesome or a B2 type of awesome. So I have populated the fields within the subtree exactly as before but the difference this time being that I am actually going to cascade Ethernet and Ethernet is just top level you know Mac protocol and it can cascade the whole tree of Wireshark starting from Ethernet. So I want to tunnel Ethernet inside the B4 or B2 and so all I have to do is that I have to define that um, protocol here so that Wireshark knows about it so I say Ethernet without FCS and you can have Ethernet with FCS or without FCS so there's both ways that already exist within Wireshark as a as a predefined dissector so you have to just define dissector.get Ethernet without FCS and which is my case and then in my subtree after my subtree has been completely decoded I have to basically say Ethernet without FCS and I have to give the remaining part of buffer and I show you how to do that here you have to give an offset and a length so that the buffer can be cut down from where it came into this to where it goes into the next protocol and then the rest is the same P info entry is the same as before so I've done that here and I've done for both uh, the branches for the B4 branch of this awesome protocol as well as the B2 branch. The rest is the same. This dissector, the awesome dissector, gets called in it. You know, when the ether external ether type is there, beef, then awesome protocol gets called in. Once its dissector plugs in, it goes through dissecting the subtree and then it hands off to an Ethernet dissector um, as a follow on. So that is it. That's all the code that you need. Really, all all we did was add three lines of code, a length, which is used to define this length here. Then we added this um, dissector definition, which calls a pre-existing dissector, and then hand off to that dissector with the right arguments. And that's about it. Now, let's dive into the demo next. So let's move over to our demo. And in this demo, I have two packets that I generated using D packet and I gave it an external ether type of awesome which is which is beef here either dead or beef would work so it dissects the awesome protocol in my case happens to be the B4 protocol um, because the type was zero but look at it it the handoff that happened from B4 to Ethernet gave me then Ethernet and it detected the Ethernet but I did something even more interesting I put the ether type again to be beef which means that once the handoff happened to the ethernet dissector it again found awesome and it dissected awesome here so in short what you can see here is that we are able to dissect the not just the awesome protocol but handoff to another dissector it could be IPv6 IPv4 which is normally what tunneling protocols are and 
if it's a layer two encapsulation, then you can just hand off to Ethernet dissector. So that's really it. You can have many, you can craft many such packets to do test cases on your uh, Lua dissector. But once that is done, you have all the power to dissect away. You can dissect your protocol and hand off to other known protocols. And that's it. That gets you tunneling. And so with that, um, let's now look quickly at how I craft these packets. And I have this um, script provided in my repo as a Jupyter Notebook. You can convert this into a regular Python script. But all you need here is this uh, this um, Python library called dpacket. And it's really cool. So if you use this dpacket library, I show you in this in this example two ways. One, you can read, let's say an existing pcap, you can read a pcap, you can then modify the pcap. Or in my case, I just start by trying to produce this pcap from scratch and I just call a writer and then I try to craft two packets and I initialize a byte array with all zeros in the beginning and then I populate the various fields that I need. And as I showed you in the demo, the fields are basically the MAC protocol and then I put beef in the ether type and then my uh, my protocol here, which is awesome. Awesome protocol filled here and following that is the tunnel packet and the tunnel MAC addresses and the ether type. And so using this, um, I was able to generate with just few lines of code, I was able to generate the Ethernet PCAPs that I used for the demo. So um, that's it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this Wireshark Lua um, tunnel uh, tutorial, how to create tunnels and how the tunnel creation can cascade different dissectors. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and uh, do hit the subscribe and the bell button so you get notifications of when I put more videos out there. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.